What's up, you guys? U-N-I-T-Y. Unity, dear Unity. This is dear Unity. This is December the 25th, 2023. This is Christmas. So, let's jump right on into it. Anybody that know, dear Unity is like an open diary for me. I just basically, you know, blog about what I got going on. It's like an open diary because I don't like to write because I've been in my hands would be like this, you know what I'm saying? Because I talk too much. So, you know how it go. So, let's just jump into it. So, today is December 25th, 2023. I decided to go ahead and do this video today. is because I just finished coming back from watching The Color Purple that that is in theaters now me personally i'm gonna be honest with you i give the color purple a six out of ten um i personally it is a musical which is nothing is wrong with that so that's what's so crazy when people be like oh my god it was too much singing and dancing it's a musical so if you don't like a lot of singing and dancing or you're not really just into that type of thing that might not be for you now granted i do remember watching the original you know uh movie and stuff like that i personally feel like that the original movie was 10 times better to me i don't know it just it just it, it was definitely a little bit more um kind of like raw and uncut and the uh, and i feel like the musical this new version is kind of like sped up now don't get me wrong the movie is like over two hours but it just felt like it was like rushed like they was skipping over some parts that that was in the old movie that i probably feel like dang i'm, I'm waiting on that or something similar uh so they did tweak it i really feel like they kind of watered it down these are my opinions so please you know don't come for me you know what i'm saying but i do feel like they probably watered them down watered down this movie a lot to probably make it a little bit more uh movie friendly for either kids and also for other races because you know me personally i feel like the original version was like it was going in on a lot of different levels and uh, this version, it was kind of like, uh, this is, it was giving the Disney version, you know. But nevertheless, go support it. Go check it out for yourself. But in my opinion, I did like the original version better. Um, so, yeah, that's what it was. We decided to go to, to the movies this year. And I'm really not trying to do a lot of traditions. I think I said that in my other video when it came down to Thanksgiving. You know, I'm starting to try to make my own traditions with my own family, which is nine times out of ten. It consists of my kids and, you know, my my brother and sister and my mom and stuff like that. So, my mom's birthday is on the 24th, which is Christmas Eve. Shout out to my mama. Shout out to my mama. <laughs> And the reason why I want to share my mom out is because that without her, it wouldn't be me, you know, because she gave birth to me. And I appreciate my mom on so many levels. Like I said, say, I think once I became an adult and I had kids and stuff like that, I realized that a lot of times what our parents went through and sacrificed for us, we appreciate it and we see because, you know, you can raise kids and it's easy for the kids to point the finger or be like oh my mom and my dad was this this and that but until you actually become one sometimes you look back and you think about all the times that they sacrificed and what are they sacrificed to make for sure you had and it was times that they probably did not have it but you know nevertheless you see what i'm saying like they made a way out of no way so i appreciate my mom more and more and i'm just so grateful that she's still with us and uh i would love to make for sure that she celebrate at least every year and i just cannot wait until the day comes because the day is going to come where i'm able to celebrate my mom in a big celebration and on top of celebrating her in that way i'm also going to be able to uh, take away some financial burdens or stress on her and it's not going to be it's not going to break me. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be like, hey, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can rest now. Job well done. That's my goal in life. It's for her to see that day. Uh, so, about that, yeah. So, we didn't do traditions video. We went to the movies. And then, like, 
uh, for this Christmas. I didn't want to do like a dinner. I didn't want to like do like no dinner and stuff like that. So we honestly did like a um, we did a Christmas brunch. So you know, I basically just did like a Christmas brunch, and we also went to go see the movie and stuff like that. Which I feel like that now every holiday I'm going to do something in that nature for us, like either make a set menu. And then, you know, also do something with my kids. And then I'm I'm planning on traveling. It's so bizarre because usually around this time, I do like a video of uh, far as like my goals for, you know, the next year and stuff like that. But I seen something on Facebook and this was like last week and this little friend said like, you ought to thank God because you're, you're at least living out one of your prayers. And that is so true on so many levels. And like the saying say, God might not come when you want him to, but he's always on time. Just a quick testimony. So, for example, I remember I just posted something on my YouTube channel. And it was like uh, shorts. like, And I think it was like a closet. And let me just address this now because I remember I had got, I probably got two comments uh and one of the comments it was somebody going in saying like oh you know you could have you could have asked god for this you know health and you know it's people out in the world being sick and this is and that but you asked for a bigger closet let me make this clear and then another person was like this seems so vain let me make this very clear first of all there was a little portion of a testimony because i wanted people to know that this is where i came from far as like i was in this type of situation i use my closet for an example because for privacy reasons i'm not going to give you guys a tour of my apartment and where i stay at and you know it's just that's just not smart to do in this day of time and if you look at a lot of influencers that do have a lot of followers and stuff like that People always say that's not safe. I know y'all want to sit up here and believe that everybody have good intentions and stuff like that. But you can have people watching you that really is your enemy. Sometimes sometimes your enemy watch your stuff more and closely than a supporter would. You see what I'm saying? Because they, they want to know. You see what I'm saying? They, they want to keep tabs and stuff like that. So I would never be able or feel comfortable enough for giving you guys a tour of everything around me for it's like oh this is the bedroom this is this this is that i'm not gonna do that that's not smart that's not safe i am a single woman with kids so that's not safe like this right here truth be told this is probably as much okay girl you got a picture you got a head you got to okay use your imagination go from there but anyways so for example the person said that it was vain. One person said it was vain. Another person was saying like, oh, how dare you? Uh, that, that, that sounds so this, this, and that. How dare you speak on this, this, and that? And you could have asked for anything, but you asked God for a bigger closet. I see why celebrities or certain people that are on social media, the reason why they try so hard to be, uh, be careful or they try so hard not to, you know, go off on y'all. First of all, Let's just make this very clear. You don't know what a person will pray for. It's so funny to me that people can get on the internet and make music about sex, money, drugs, this, this, and that. But as soon as you sit up here and thank God about anything, whether it's materialistic or not, then all of a sudden you're, you're this and you're that. And you shouldn't speak on this, this, and that. I just feel like that's dead wrong. Like, just the way we can sit out here and sing and we can sit up here and, you know, be vocal about so much sinful things, we need to be the same type of way when it comes down to, oh, the materialistic things or things that he has blessed us with that we either waited or prayed for or was patient for. The reason why I posted my closet was to sit up here and show y'all. This time last year, I was depressed. I was depressed November and December. I was staying in some apartments that basically I was paying over $1,100 for that was in the hood. They was definitely run down apartments. I was 
half of the times if I tell y'all the name of them apartments, you wouldn't even believe I stayed over there. I was so depressed because these people had had like a gas leak. So they turned off all the gas in the apartments. We could not take showers there. They was trying to put up porty potties. They was trying to sit up here and instead of accommodating us and putting us in hotels or giving us some type of, you know, you know, essentials and stuff like that, they was literally sitting over here treating us like we was freaking, you know, slops and slaves. And we're paying for rent. This ain't no housing or nothing. No offense to nobody who got it. But I'm just saying though, the way that they was treating us was just kind of like it was no respect. It was kind of like, uh, yeah, we we gonna put out some shower potties outside that it's over four or five hundred apartment complex, and you want all of us to have a sheet and sign up and then go in this party party, and then you only have five or six minutes to take a shower and then come back out. They was treating us like prisoners. You see what I'm saying? Even when it came down to the food and stuff like that remind you our stuff was hooked up with the gas so they cut out the gas so we cannot cook in our apartment they literally was sitting over here talking about oh we got food at the uh at the at the front of the building then next thing you know it's a pot of spaghetti and then they, they putting it in the putting it in the carryway and saying like oh, okay this should feed your whole family split it amongst your whole family this is how we was getting treated you see what I'm saying? And it's like, they didn't have no remorse. They didn't care. And they still want their money on the rent. So, November and December, you know what I'm saying? I was depressed. I was depressed before that, but that was just the icing on the cake. Luckily, I did have family members and stuff like that that I can go over to their house. But I still feel for the people that stayed over there that was either elderly, that was either handicapped, or did not have the resources. You see what I'm saying? Like, some people do not have a plan B or people that they can go to and stuff like that. So, I felt for people that was in my apartments because that's just how I was. So, when I showed that closet space it was me showing you guys this is where i was coming from i was coming for a small little place when i asked god to bless me with this this and that in my new place he blessed me with double amount of what i asked for because you know why i was patient nevertheless i never gave up i never i never you know i never set up here and feel like that you know it wasn't going to get better i always believed that god was going to make a way out of no way and not only was i patient even though I was frustrated by being patient and continually to trust in him, he doubled that blessing. So I just want to get that out the way with because that kind of really bothered me when that person had said that, like them two people had said that. And it was kind of like, I'm not even that type of person. I'm just giving God thank you for one of the things he did. And the reason why I'm giving it thing, because I do remember literally sitting up here, I had to turn the door off that the door off that closet and then put a lot of my extra stuff that I had or whatever, I had to put it and fold it in buckets. You see what I'm saying? Like I had to put it in buckets. I had to, oh, here go a bucket, here go a bucket, here go a bucket. Put my stuff in bucket and put them in bags because I couldn't even put half of my clothes up. Now I have way more than enough in the room. And then I'm a blogger, so I do fashion. I do, I sell clothes on Poshmark. So I was thanking God for just blessing me for not only what I asked for, but double. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful. And I don't care who felt some type of way about it because I'm going to stand on it and still say, I thank God for blessing me with that because you don't know what I've been through. You don't know my story. You don't know my storm. But at the end of the day, I don't care if I sit up here and say, God, thank you for the car. Thank you for the, the roof over my head. I was thanking God when I was staying in the hood, even though I didn't like it, but I was still telling mom I was thankful because at the end of the day, some people even want to stay there. You see what I'm saying? Some people just was grateful to have that. So I'm always internally grateful when it comes down to something. So yeah, I just wanted to get that out. Nevertheless, so um, yeah, so basically that that's just what I want to get out. And not only that, I just want to sit up here and say that keep your faith and keep your mentality and never give up hope. Because like I was saying, he might not come when he wants to, but he always on time. I went from 
this year, last year, around this time, being depressed, being stressed out, my lease was going to be up in February. I knew I didn't want to stay there, you know, where I was staying at. I was stressed out. I literally wrote a list. I, I wrote a list this year, February 2023, of everything that I wanted in my new place. Next thing you know, I got my place. I signed the lease over here April the 6th. I started, I began to look at the list. I scratched out probably everything except two things on that list. So then, what y'all feel to realize is that this whole year, I was still asking God, God, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to lie. I need this. I, I'm going to need this, this, and that. I'm patient. I'm a, you know, I'm a this and that. Because I ain't going to lie. You know, I love it over here where I'm staying at. But I was just like, you know, I still desire something a little bit bigger. And you know what I'm saying? And more affordable and this, this, and that. You guys. I signed my lease to a three-bedroom, two-bath townhome on the 15th. And I cannot thank nobody but God because without him, I am nothing. Crazy thing about it, these townhomes was the same townhomes that are, I originally moved over here to get into. I was on a waiting list since 2022, July 2022. I moved over here because I was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I love the area, but, you know what I'm saying, since I can't get into them and I don't know when they're going to call me and let me know something, I'll just stay in this certain location until the time come. God turned around. This year for to be up, and by the end of the year, I already got my keys to the new place. I'm already moving stuff in there. So I didn't really want to speak on it. But until it happens, sometimes we also have to remember that. I remember I kept saying stuff. I know even when I was doing my Dear Unity, I kept putting stuff out there like, oh, this is what I want. This is what I desire. This is what I'm going to do, 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 do. And I had to think about this too. Like, be mindful of what you put out there. You know, yes, you can speak it into existence, but sometimes it's just best to do a lot of stuff in silence. So, therefore, once you get it, you sign it, it's in, it's already, you know, black and white or whatever. Then when I come to, then when you come to people, it's no such thing as them going against it because it's already done. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, I already got it. I already got the key. And I used to speak too much for a head of time. Sorry, I do a little sign language, Ebonic sign language on top of my head. But I used to speak too quickly on a situation before it happened. And I ain't trying to be funny. A lot of things that I wanted and I desired that I spoke too fastly on, literally, it ended up getting destructed right out the blue. Child, I have been in situations, y'all, where all I had to do was go pick up a key or all I had to do was sign a piece of paper. And then next thing you know, something goes wrong. Something goes wrong. Something goes wrong, or but you know what? I never questioned after I started stop overthinking and start like stop getting in my head. I start questioning anything if I don't get it, if it don't come through, if it don't work out, and that goes for relationship, friendship, a situation, financial, or whatever. I don't even hesitate to try to figure out what's wrong, what happened, what you know, what I'm saying like, can we see this? I don't even care because it's not for me. God could be blocking something that he like, you looking at the vision for this, but my vision for you is something else that is bigger and greater. Before I got this apartment, you guys, I was so desperate at the time because I was like, dang, I need to hear your profound place because my lease would be up. And what about this? I was fit to go or settle for another place, like two or three more other places that was not what I really wanted to settle for. But I was like, hey, I need something quickly. God literally put this apartment in my thing and I signed the lease on the last day that I really needed to be out of my other apartment and it worked out in my favor same way with this situation I was just like God you know you literally came I already had said that I wanted something new I wanted you know what I'm saying that I wanted to have a place where it's still affordable, but then also it can be bigger. God, you're blessing me. He continues to keep blessing me. And that's why I want to just tell y'all, dude, like, have faith in whatever you do. Because you don't know what, you know, is going to be your blessing. When is your 
when is your next breakthrough? When is the next time, you know, something's going to come through for you? And if it don't work out, don't hesitate to feel like, oh, it's me or went through this or maybe it's not meant to be. No, maybe it's just meant for you to have something that's bigger and better. Because what is for you is for you and nobody is going to be able to stop it and nobody is going to be able to take it away from you. Because what is for you is for you. That's the reason why I don't even care about certain people, you know, getting promotions or, you know what I'm saying, getting stuff before me. Because at the end of the day, that wasn't for me. I can't be worried about it. Like I, told, like I think I said one of the other times I said, I said I was worried about one time my manager giving a position to this one particular girl and I was just like how is she getting the position or being offered that position but I've been here long for her I trained her then turned around my manager you know what I'm saying even though I was looking sideways like why she offering her that position and then offer it to me then turned around the manager turned around and offered me a way higher position to basically be her right hand man and I'm just like God that was a prime example of Stop worrying about what other people got or how other people get certain things before you do. Your time is going to come. Period. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to start uh, writing down bullet points when I do my Dear Unity. Uh, because I just want to make sure I stay on topic about a lot of stuff. About 20 minutes. But, um, basically, that was it. That's all I really want to talk about. I hope... Everybody out there, um, let's let's just remember to have grace for people around this time and things and stuff like that because you never know what a person is going through. You never know what a person is going through. I know a lot of y'all like, how oh, now that person got an attitude and I can't deal with people because they did it. People are losing people in their life. People are dealing with financial issues. People are dealing with so much mental and physically. So around this time, this brings out a lot of personal emotions from people. So you, or if you are in a good mindset, in a good space or whatever, please be mindful and graceful. And you know what I'm saying? Have some type of respect and empathy for the people that do not have people in their life or have lost loved ones and stuff like that. Like, don't, don't just sit up here and be quick to shut them out. Then I'm not for the call them. Or I ain't for the this and that. You never know what a person goes through. I still got my downstairs neighbor from my other place that I stayed at. He still contacts me. And you would think that we still stay by each other. But I don't mind answering the phone and talking to him and stuff like that. And, you know, just, just making sure that, hey, you good? Yeah, I'm good with all this. Because you never know the bridges that you're going to have to cross. You never know. Sometimes favor ain't fair. The main people that you're trying to cut ties with or be mean for and be this ugly towards or whatever, you don't ever know when you might have to cross that bridge or you might be in that position. So be mindful and be careful how you handle people. That's why even where I work at now, I, I, you know what I'm saying, it's so funny because I remember Saturday I went into work. No, Friday I went into work. I was really kind of tired because I went in the afternoon time. But do you not know I got like six compliments and it was from different people just like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Your smile. <laughs> it's the <a> smile. <laughs> no, they're just like, your smile. You know, every time I come in here, you always smiling. You always in a good mood. And I'm just like, yeah. Like, yes. And it made me feel good because at the end of the day, I love to see people reaction when they feel appreciated. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's just the type of person I am. I'm like, you would never see me mad or upset or something. Because it's kind of like, what's the point? What's the point? My pride won't even allow me to get mad and upset at a person. And if I do have to take it through with you, I promise you, then it's a wrap. It's a wrap. So I choose not to do that. I choose to treat people like I want to be treated. So when I see a person, I'm quick to be like, hey, how you doing? What? You okay? What's going on? And I'm genuinely meaning it. I'm, I'm, I'm not just saying it just to blow smoke up there behind. I really, I really, it, 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 it does something to me when people have come to me and sit up here and said that I appreciate you. I thank you. You know what I'm saying? You know, keep up the good work. Like, that right there makes me smell. I have had people come into an establishment that I work at and let me know, like, you're the reason why I'm still coming. You're the reason why I come up here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was feeling like this, this, and that. But you know what? Your smile, your attitude changed it. So be mindful. 
say something nice, say something sweet, text somebody. You know what I'm saying? It don't always have to be, you know, something physical going on. Just check on what they say, check on people. Never know how far that little, hey, how you doing will go. Even your strong friends. Let's let's talk about that. Just be mindful. Even the people that y'all feel like that got it together, that got the money, that got the finances. Oh, they doing this, they doing that. Check on them too. Because when a person is always giving, 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 it's kind of like, man, you know what I'm saying? Nobody never check in on them because they feel like, oh, well, you got money, you got cars, you, you working, you this, this, and that. But you want to check in with them when you need something. But then what about checking in on them when you don't when they when you don't need nothing? Truth be told, that's how God wants us to be when it comes down to him. My God. I'm just saying, like that just kind of clicked in my head. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm guilty of it. Like sometimes don't just check in with your strong friends when you need something. Check in on them when you don't need something. And you just checking in on them just because. Hey, I don't need no friend. I just want to make sure you okay, you good? That can go a long way. Even if you can't do nothing for them, you checking in on them can go a long way. And then they can really change their whole attitude and perspective. But that's all I want to talk about. And I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have been safe this long, I appreciate it. Uh, hit your girl up. Thank you. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Uh, this is 20... 23 y'all it's winding down let's go uh i'm definitely gonna get up on it <laughs> so i i want to do a video before i before the last year but hey if not one love peace and unity